Hello there and welcome to today's video in which I'm making the amazing Kurt Cobain of Nirvana and I've basically wanted to make this model for years now but I've been hesitant really because I wasn't sure which outfit to go for so I'm going to be working with this look here in his uh, white sunglasses and animal prints coats. I haven't actually, to my memory anyway, made animal print before so this should be quite interesting. It's always good to work on something new for a new project. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So you'll probably have noticed that uh, this video is a little late this week and um, basically I've been uploading on Saturdays, well certainly for the last few months anyway, but um, I've been a bit poorly over the last week or two so I've been working at a uh, much slower pace than usual really, so yeah, hence why it's a little late. But I've been wanting to experiment with um, upload days anyway really. I think as we move into spring and summer, I suspect folks are going to be doing more stuff at weekends. So I think what I'm going to do is to experiment with uh, weekday uploads. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I did put on my community tab a little while ago actually now as to what days work best for people in you know in terms of watching so I know that I tend to watch YouTube videos a little more often during the week than at weekends so yeah we'll just experiment and see how it goes really and I've decided not to appear on video today because I've got a huge cold sore and nobody needs to see that right now so yeah you're just looking at my hands today so now I can move on to his jeans and once they're done I can just add them to his converse like so. So this week I had to go for a hospital appointment and it's something that's been going on for years but basically I've got a severely deviated septum and um, I've also got a dislocation in my nose as well and thankfully it's not something you can actually see from looking at me. Um, my nose appears pretty straight from the outside but believe me it's super messed up inside <laughs> and it's always been that way. Um, I had a doctor years ago that theorised that I possibly did it at birth and uh, yeah I can only breathe through one nostril basically. And I've been needing septoplasty for years now and it's a case actually that I need septal rhinoplasty now um, so it's both the septum and the nose itself because of the dislocation in my septum and um, if you're anything like me I just you know put things off and put things off because I've just never fancied having this operation basically and it's something that I'll I think was offered to me around 20 years ago but you know it's just something that I thought I'd do one day and it's got to the point now where my nose feels so fragile that I know I'm going to have to do something about it at some point so I've got another appointment with the, um, the nose specialist um, just to decide which operation to go for because as I say they just wanted to do septoplasty um, originally so that was just correcting the deviation but I think they're at a stage now where they're gonna fully recommend the the full nose job basically so what I wanted to know is if anybody out there has um, has had it done and how they found it really in terms of the end result you know I know surgery is awful and recovery from septorhinoplasty can be a full year basically so you know I know all that but I just wondered if any of you guys had had it done and whether you you know found it worthwhile really. I think in terms of surgery and certainly kind of elective surgery almost 
Um, it's something that's basically a massive decision, isn't it? But I suspect this is something that I'm going to have to do, basically. I've been struggling with um, sleep, particularly, for, for years now, and it's always worse in winter, you know, when you pick up a bit of a cold or a sniffle. It basically means that I know that I'm going to have some issues around sleeping, really. So I'm at a stage now where I'm reluctantly <laughs> admitting defeat, really, and I just wish I'd had it done years ago now, so I wasn't even having to think about this anymore. But nobody likes surgery, do they? So, and it, you know, it's, especially when it's something that's so close to your brain. <laughs> But yeah, I'll keep you updated with it anyway. And I think the animal print has worked out quite well, really. I think he wears a leopard print, but I opted for more of a giraffe style print because I, I think it works better with polymer clay. I did try and make some leopard prints and um, I don't think I saved the footage actually because I, I did want to show you it. But it didn't work very well and it looked almost quite scruffy really you know it didn't quite look enough like leopard prints and it just looked a bit sort of random as to why i had you know a third color of sort of dots here and there so yeah it's all trial and error isn't it so now i'm going to move on to making his hats And finally, the uh, the last bit to his hats. So he's all done, so I'm just going to bake him now. And here he is, all done. And I'm really pleased actually with how the coat turned out on this one particularly. So let me know what other singers or pop stars or rock stars you'd like to see me make at some points. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.